All right, welcome back. Um, it's time to start talking about the wingtip. I use a slightly different method to create this, so I thought I'd take a minute and talk about it. So let's hide this stuff for now and go look at the shrinks. This is our base mesh shrink here, our wing. If I go to top view, I want to create a mesh and I want to use the round cube. If you don't see this in your list, you want to go to edit, preferences, look for the words extra, and you'll see the extra mesh or ex add mesh extra objects, and that will enable the round cube. So I want to do a round cube, and these are the presets. By default, it's going to say rounded cube, which is going to look like that, but you want to use quads here. And maybe we'll go to six, probably don't need quite so many. Go into face mode, and we're just going to take half. We don't need that. And I want to put a little, I want to mark that seam, because this just makes it easier for me to see where the, the middle is. Now, at this point, I just need to make this kind of fit as close as I can to this wingtip. So you know, maybe start in the top view, just roughing it out. I'm going to get rid of my image plane. Because what we're going to do is we're going to shrink this down on top of this. And the closer we can get this to the base mesh shape, the less guessing the shrink wrap has to do um, to get it snugged in. If, if you've got too much of a distance there, what's going to happen is it's just going to deform it all over the place. So let's take a I'm going to apply rotation and scale. I'm going to add a lattice, and I'm going to use that to kind of coax my piece into position. So I lattice, choose lattice, and I'm just going to push it and pull it until it's close. And maybe what I'll do is I'll also add a subdivision to this and put it above. That'll help. It'll help visualize exactly where this thing is because the subdivision, of course, is going to cause things to move a little bit. It's going to pull things together. All right, let's see what happens. So if I add a shrink wrap after this and we choose our wing shrink. All right, so let's hide that for a moment. So there we go, did a pretty good job. And I think part of the reason that was successful is because we took some time to get it pretty close. Uh, so let's apply these things. We don't need to apply the subdivision. We don't need to apply the lattice and then apply. I'm gonna duplicate the shrink because we're gonna use it again. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. And we can get rid of our lattice now. All right, so let's turn off our shrinks and see what our wingtip looks like. Go to the top view. And hopefully it should be pretty close to our image plane. All right, pretty close, and we can adjust it a little bit. Um, but right now we need to do a little bit more. I want to add thickness to this. Uh, because it's a tip, uh, kind of an end piece, I don't make it like two thin pieces. I just fill this whole edge in uh, so it's solid. I found that that's easier than trying to make a hollow piece. Uh, it doesn't really need to be hollow. And uh, because there's a control surface here, right, we have an aileron here, when that goes up and down, you're gonna see in here anyway, so you're gonna need some kind of material there. So just make it hollow, and I'm gonna make these these pieces, I'm gonna add another one there, and just kind of clean up the geometry here. Like that. And now we wanna use our old trick of um, using the uh, shrink wrap and the cutting planes, right, because we have our cutting planes. If you've been following along, you're familiar with these. So our cut tool, and I want to use that shrink wrap to project in the x direction, both x and y, or negative and positive. And I want to just use the vertex group that I didn't create there. So those uh, vertices that I assigned here, I want to put into a vertex group called S, and then we're going to use that vertex group just to limit how much the shrink wrap uh, shrinks. And if we do that, you can see how that just snaps it right against the edge. So we'll call that inboard, just to remember what that is. Apply. I did need to name it. All right, so there we are with our basic shape. Next thing I want to do is I want to cut out, there's a, there's a, there's a wing light, wing tip light here. I'm going to model that. You can see it in this picture. It's got the plexiglass housing, and then there's a fairing over it. Uh, this is an interesting contrast in colors. This is the same aircraft, so if you're looking at colors, you need to be careful about your color selections. I don't think black six, I think there's only one black six around, so 
Uh, this is obviously a better picture. Just interesting note on how colors can be deceptive. But anyway, what we want to do here is we want to just cut out. I'm actually going to duplicate this piece since we took some time to make it and hide it just so I have a backup of it. And now I'm going to cut roughly through the middle here. Because we don't need this bit. And I don't think I actually cut through. Let me do that again. I forgot to hit the C key when I was cutting. And you want to make sure your subdivisions are off when you're doing this, otherwise it'll distort it. So I hit the C key to cut through the surface entirely. Now I can hopefully cut these faces out entirely. All right, so there's our cutout for our wingtip light. Now it's just a matter of moving these kind of close to where we want them to be. All right, so now they're in position, but now I need to add a little bit of topology around this edge to clean it up, because that's obviously not good having all these orphans there. All right, I'm back. See that I got an edge, an edge loop going here that roughly corresponds to where the uh, cutout's going to be for the lamp. Doesn't need to be exactly because there's a fitting that goes on top of that. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, and since I've added some edges and vertices, it's a good idea to double check our vertex group to make sure that uh, we didn't put any in that shouldn't be in. Sometimes that happens when you add edges or vertices that get put in the wrong spot. So that looks like they're okay. So now we should be able to turn on our subdivision and I'm going to put in a, I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna put that shrink wrap back in for that edge just to keep it sharp for now. That one, keep it nice and sharp. Go inboard, I'm gonna rename that group to be inboard instead of S. And then fix it here, all right. And then if we re-enable re our shrink wrap for the base wing, it should smooth out pretty well. I've got something weird happening here at the front. And that's because we're actually shrinking the side down. Like we don't wanna shrink this face here. So I actually can select inboard and say not that. And that should fix that. So it's not shrinking that. If we give it a smooth, shade smooth. And let's turn off, let's take a look at a glossy matte cap. All right, so far so good. Let's add an edge loop to this so we can get a nice crisp edge here. All right, we want this edge to be sharp because it's a cut line. And I also want to mark that as a seam because at some point we're gonna to need to unwrap it. So give that a bevel of one and have a bevel modifier. At the top, change it to one, two, and weight because we only want it to bevel the weighted pieces. And now, if we turn our subdivision and our shrink wrap, we should have a nice crisp line there. Take a look at it, matte cap, nice and shiny. Could hide our cut tools. All right, and there's the wingtip. So, you would obviously want to apply this, duplicate this shrink wrap, and apply it just to make sure that all those pieces are close to where they're supposed to be. Um, leave that on if we want. Right. And then you got a decent topology, right? Just wraps around nicely, flows around all quads. And then this bit here is just more, it's more of the same kind of detailing. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on this, but it's basically using the same kind of idea just to make a smaller version of the wingtip. And then we'll just make that an acrylic piece instead of metal. All right, starting to look like a plane. I will see you in the next lesson. I'm not sure what uh, I'm doing next, but I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, bye.